I've got a flower image I'm pretty happy with. I shot it with a lens baby, and I've done some basic editing to it, basic processing. I've set my whites, I've set my blacks, and I've added some clarity, vibrance, and saturation. But there's still some things I need to do to the image. I need to get rid of some of this background clutter, and I want to make the flower pop just that little bit more. So to do this, I'm going to go into the HSL panel, and I'm going to select luminance. Actually, first I'm going to select saturation, and I'm going to select the targeted adjustment tool, and I'm going to drag in the background here just a little bit to desaturate some of the greens. Now I'm going to go into luminance and the targeted adjustment tool is still selected and I'm going to pump up some of the reds. And in the luminance panel, I make the color darker or denser by dragging to the left and lighter by dragging to the right. And notice, since I've selected the targeted adjustment tool, it's automatically selecting the color range, and this is all red. So now the reds are popping just a little bit more. I'm going to add just a little bit of saturation to the reds, not much. Okay, now I'm pretty happy with that, but I've still got some stuff I'm dealing with in the background here. So, I'm going to go into the effects panel, but first I want to get rid of all this text up here so I can see the image better. So I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut I, and I'm going to close this left panel so I've got less distraction. There, now I've got a better image. So let's go into post-crop vignetting. Now if I've got light bright at the outside of this, it's going to lead the eye to the dark. So I'm going to choose Highlight Priority for my post-crop vignetting and drag to the right. And now it's drawing attention to the flower. There's one more thing I'm going to do. I'm going to decrease the exposure just a little bit. And there we go. That's about perfect. Now I'm going to use my keyboard shortcut, the forward slash. That's what it looked like upon import. And that's what it looked like after. And this shows you with just a couple of simple steps, you can turn a nicely composed image with a good subject matter and get rid of background distraction and lead your viewer's eye to the center of the image.